just went to Barney, spent your whole year's salary I never wore Yeezys, that's a fact Every week is fashion week for me Hello everyone, Esme here with a warm welcome back to my channel. This is a series I have running on my channel where I school mine and my clients horses and talk you through the process. This time we'll be working with my five year old stallion named Throrin. He's an Irish sport horse cross Lipizzana project with a promising future in dressage, but he can be very spooky. It's not him being mean or naughty or anything, but he just has a few green horse moments every now and then. Today I'll be taking him on an outing to Golden Leaf Stables and schooling in their arena to get him used to the different environments that will come with a competition lifestyle. It's actually about time to go, so let's go get him ready for the trailer. I grab his saddle and bridle from the tack room as well as a few other things and put them in the trailer before going to get Thorin. Once his head collar and shipping boots are on, it's time to lead him out and load him up. We shouldn't have any problems as he's pretty good with the trailer and today is only a short journey. As you can see, it has started snowing and the temperature is pretty low. I'm actually wearing about four layers, but thankfully Thorin isn't clipped so he's not suffering from the cold. a minute after unloading to look around and take things in. This helps keep him calmer and happier which of course is good for today's goal. There's a free stall in the main barn for me to use while I get him ready. After picking his feet it's straight on to tacking him up using his cultic equestrian bridle with a snaffle and a dressage saddle with a large saddle pad. This saddle is honestly an ancient relic. I can't remember where it came from, but it's still good and it fits Thorin perfectly. Once I've changed into my riding gear, I lead him to the arena to get on. Making sure to check my girth and tighten it a few holes. He actually did have a little jump at something when I got on, but nothing too drastic. For the first few minutes of riding, his eyes were basically out on stalks, <laughs> and he especially didn't like going past this big red barn. Something about that particular area really spooked him, and we had quite a few problems there. As you can see, coming up now. I just tried to get him to stand and realised nothing was going to jump out and attack him until, you know, he felt a little bit more comfortable. Once we moved off, he did try to bolt away, but I was ready for it so he didn't get too far, luckily. had a proper freak out at this point so I did spend a while just calming him and trying to bring his focus back to me in this area.
In our circle work, you can see he's quite tense, not really bending consistently at the moment, and he keeps breaking into the canter. But he is starting to focus and work a little more, and he's keeping a reasonably nice contact in his trot work. The second half of this circle was really nice and he's not trying to rush off into canter now, which is a big plus. <laughs> Look at that, trotting past the terrifying red barn, even if it was very much on the inside track, I'm going to take what I can get with this guy. <laughs> this circle was really good, I was proud of him for that. I actually thought we were going to be able to trot past this barn, even off the outside track a little, and relaxed. So of course Thorin chose that moment to throw in a massive buck and try to run off. Not my best riding moment, but hey, I didn't fall off. Moving up into canter work was a good decision, as he really did start to relax and get his mind on the job, as opposed to all the things he could be scared of. His extended canter was a little rushed and he was still reasonably tense, but I decided to let it go as he came back really well and didn't use it as an excuse to bolt. You just kind of have to pick and choose your battles with horses like this, you don't want to overwhelm them. Here he was really good and trotted past the barn sensibly and on the outside track, so I asked him to stop and he got to rest a little before we continued. I practiced some one-time flying changes across the arena, which is Thorin's favourite move. He absolutely loves them. And here's some GoPro footage of Thorin spooking and then going on to work really well. You can see some of his lovely flying changes from another angle. And here where we do a really nice canter pirouette, um, that's something that he's getting really good at. He's staying really strong and staying on a very small axis with his back legs. And in this half circle he had a really nice bend through, through the ribcage, it was very consistent. After about an hour, my time in the arena was unfortunately up, so I walked Thorin out and dismounted, ready to untack and load him up to go home. Now that a lot of his energy had been used up, Thorin was actually very relaxed walking to the trailer, which was nice to see. Once we arrived home, I fed him and turned him out into the paddock for the evening. Making sure to turn him towards the gate before I take his head collar off. Learned that one the hard way with this guy after being dragged across the field one evening. <laughs>
I think today went very well. I was able to work Thorin through his spookiness and in the end I got some really good work out of him. He's not ready for a competition atmosphere yet and I have quite a lot of desensitization work left to do but he's really showing some progress and I'm confident he'll be up for sale this year. Thank you all so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Until next time!